Wilson disease is an inherited disorder of copper metabolism, which is characterized by excessive deposition of copper in the liver, brain, skin, and various other organs and tissues. If not recognized and treated when symptomatic, the disease can be quite fatal. Copper is an important mineral required for the proper functioning of several crucial enzymes, including cytochrome oxidase, superoxide dismutase, and dopamine beta-hydroxylase. The genetic defect causing Wilson's disease is localized to the chromosome 13 and is associated with excessive absorption of copper from the small intestine and reduced excretion of copper by the liver. Once absorbed into the bloodstream, copper is transported into the liver and incorporated into copper-containing enzymes and copper-binding proteins, such as ceruloplasmin. In Wilson disease, this incorporation process gets impaired, leading to excessive copper deposition. The excess copper promotes the formation of free radicals and oxidation of lipids and proteins. Initially, they cause hepatocellular injury involving various organelles within the hepatocytes. When the copper levels become very high, they tend to accumulate in various other organs as well. The initial clinical manifestations of Wilson disease are related to the hepatocellular damage caused by excess copper. Major hepatic manifestations include acute hepatitis, chronic active hepatitis, cirrhosis, and fulminant hepatic failure. Liver involvement results in typical signs and symptoms of hepatic injury, including jaundice, ascites, and ankle edema, bleeding manifestations, including massive hematemesis, rectal bleeding, easy bruising, and gum bleeding, and other peripheral stigmata of liver disease such as spider navy, gynecomastia, loss of axillary and chest hair, finger clubbing, and distended abdominal veins. Major early neurological manifestations include the following. Tremor, which is characteristically asymmetrical and occurring at rest. Difficulty speaking, excessive salivation, ataxia, clumsiness, and personality changes. Late neurological symptoms include dystonia, spasticity, rigidity, grand mal seizures, and flexion contractures. Major psychiatric manifestations include emotional lability, impulsiveness, disinhibition, and self-injurious behavior. Major hematological manifestations include the following. Hemolytic anemia, predominantly combs negative acute intravascular hemolysis. Renal manifestations include urolithiasis or renal stone formation. Hematuria, and excessive renal losses of amino acids, glucose, fructose, galactose, calcium, and phosphate. Ophthalmologic manifestations include Kaiser Fleischer rings and sunflower cataracts. Musculoskeletal manifestations include the following. Osteoporosis, osteomalacia and rickets, spontaneous fractures, and polyarthritis. Cardiac manifestations include rhythm abnormalities and increased autonomic tone. When a patient presents with neurological signs and Kaiser Fleischer rings, along with a ceruloplasmin level of less than 20 mg per deciliter, a diagnosis of Wilson disease can be made. However, if a patient presents with isolated liver disease without corneal signs, a liver biopsy is essential in making a diagnosis of Wilson disease. If the biopsy shows a hepatic copper concentration of more than 250 micrograms per gram of dry weight, along with a low serum ceruloplasmin level, a diagnosis of Wilson disease can be established. Additionally, urinary copper excretion can be used to confirm the diagnosis and to assess the response to chelation therapy. Genetic testing is recommended for the first and second degree relatives of patients with confirmed Wilson disease. CT brain is useful to detect cerebral changes in Wilson disease. These include diffuse cerebral and cerebellar atrophy and widening of the frontal horns of the left ventricle. MRI brain is more sensitive than CT in identifying early lesions of Wilson disease. It can detect focal abnormalities in the white matter, pons, and deep cerebellar nuclei. The mainstay of treatment in Wilson disease is pharmacological therapy with chelating agents such as D-penicillamine and trientine. Other agents include dimercaptosuccinate, zinc, and tetrathiomolybdate. Patients should be advised on potential adverse effects of chelating agents. And in some individuals, neurological symptoms may worsen after the initiation of chelation therapy. Therefore, hematological and biochemical monitoring, as well as urinalysis, should be performed periodically.
In addition, patients should be advised to avoid eating foods high in copper, such as chocolate, animal liver, legumes, mushrooms, shellfish, especially lobster, and nuts. They should also be advised to avoid drinking water from unknown sources such as wells. Finally, liver transplantation is the curative treatment for Wilson disease.